One of the most innovative nonprofits in Maine is about to throw one of the most creative fundraisers in the state. The nonprofit is called Partners for World Health, and the event is called Blue Wrap Project Runway. Here with us on 207 to talk about it are two of the key people involved, Elizabeth McClellan, the founder and president of Partners for World Health, and Brian P. Allen of Good Theater, who is directing this extravaganza, which is happening at Merrill Auditorium on Thursday, May 19th. Thanks both for coming in. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Partners for World Health is an extraordinary operation. A lot of people have seen stories on it and are familiar with it, but a lot of people are not. What is the mission of this group? Well, Partners for World Health is an organization that collects surplus medical supplies and equipment from hospitals here in Maine but we also are collecting from different hospitals in New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island and Connecticut and we are actually okay. the only organization of its size that collects from all of these states here in the New England region and then we reprocess them and we ship them to in container loads to different countries throughout Africa, Asia and the Middle East. In a typical year, how much material are you gathering and then sending overseas? That's a very good question. Last year in 2021, we gathered over 550,000 pounds of medical supplies and equipment that were saved from the landfill and we shipped 440,000 pounds of medical supplies and equipment to a variety of different countries. What you're doing is extraordinary. It obviously requires money. You need contributions. That's the idea of this fundraiser is to bring some money in. What's going to be happening Thursday night? We have an amazing show. We've got, first of all, we've got a fashion show like you've never seen before, which is so exciting. And then we have talent. We have Broadway star Ron Raines. We had rising opera star uh, Maeve Hoglund. Uh, concert pianist Henry Kramer, the Portland Ballet, the Pacinto Girls Choir, the Batimbo uh, United Drummers, and Susie Pepper of Mixology. Let's take them in order and talk first of all about the fashion show. Now all of the fashions that have been created for this show are made of what material, Elizabeth? Well, they're made out of blue wrap, and blue wrap is the fabric that we use to sterilize all surgical supplies. Uh, in, that go into the operating room in every hospital in every state in this country. It's used one time and then it's discarded. One time? One time it and then it's discarded. Just tossed into a landfill. Could end up in a landfill, could end up to many other places, but it doesn't, de it doesn't deteriorate over time. So what and kind of things do the designers create in terms of fashion using this material? Oh, there's everything from ball gowns to streetwear to bomber jackets. I mean, <laughs> it's like all over the map, and they're just so exciting. And you, you brought in a mannequin for us that's wrapped in this, and, uh, you know, it's quite, quite elegant, actually, especially on, on the back side. Mm -hmm. Yes, with a hat, the whole nine yards. I mean, they're <coughs> accessories. It's just extraordinary what these people have done to create. We're going to have like 35 fashions, plus all of the performers are also going to be wearing blue wrap. How long does it take to pull all this together on your end? Well, I started working with them in January, and we've been meeting every other week, and we've sort of got it all together, and then it all happens very quickly next week. But they started working on this over a year ago. That's right. And this is the first time that you've been able to do this since the pandemic began. That's right. The, the last time we did this was at USM in 2019, just before the pandemic. But the first time we did this was in 2011 at the Pooley Museum of Art, a small scale, much smaller than Merrill Auditorium, which holds 1,900. Part of the reason <coughs> that you want this to be a big event and get even bigger is that you want to expand the reach of what Partners for World Health is doing, because a lot of people in Maine are familiar with it, because what you're doing is happening throughout sta the state, but once you step outside of Maine to the other, for instance, five New England states, there's nothing going on that's comparable to what you do. That is correct. We are the largest operation here in New England, and because there's not another PWH in Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, or Connecticut, that's why we set up warehouses now in Mass Western Massachusetts and another one in Burlington, Vermont, because there are hundreds and hundreds of hospitals and nursing homes and other healthcare facilities just in New England alone that are throwing so much, that are discarding so much every day from every hospital in this region. And, and these, if we just to emphasize the point, re-emphasize the point, perfectly good medical supplies that are sent to other countries and used to treat people and save lives. Absolutely. For, Absolutely. For an example, they've already sent two million dollars worth of medical supplies to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I went into the office on Tuesday after the first invasion of Ukraine happened over the weekend, and they were in the throes of putting together all this stuff. It was like nothing I had ever witnessed, and it's gone. It's there. 
to help people. Well, the work that Partners does is extraordinary. This is a key event for you this year. Thanks for coming in and telling us about it. If you would like to know more about Blue Wrap Project Runway happening Thursday, May 19th at Merrill Auditorium, just head to our website or app, the 207 section. You'll find a lot more information there. Or if you just want to find out more about uh, Partners for World Health and how to donate, we've got that as well. Stay with us. We're going to be back in a moment.